And welcome to another episode of the City of Flagstaff's Recovery Roundtable. This is a new series where city staff and um, our elected officials take the opportunity to discuss um, topics related to the city, uh, the city's COVID-19 response and recovery efforts. And today I am happy to be joined by two of the senior leaders of the City of Flagstaff, and I'm going to let them introduce themselves. Thank you, Jessica. Good morning. My name is Shannon Anderson. I'm one of the deputy city managers. Hey, thanks, Jessica. Good morning. My name is Greg Clifton. I serve as city manager. Thanks, and thank you for taking the time this, um, today to join the Recovery Roundtable. Today, we're going to discuss the city's phased reentry plan, um, and I would like to have Shannon take the lead on explaining where the city is at with phased reentry and what our plans are moving forward. Thank you. The city has brought together a team of employees to finalize the city's reentry plan. The plan is a piece of general guidance for the organization on the public's reentry into city facilities and properties. The plan currently has four phases and will add addendums for facility specific information. So this way, different guidelines for facilities such as the aquaplex will be captured. The city will be considering to move into one phase to another with the 14 day decline of new cases in the Flagstaff area. The city monitors the number of new cases uh, by using the published information by Coconino County Health and Human Re Health and Human Services Department uh, and through the daily operation calls. The city is currently in phase two, which includes the opening of some of the city's parks facilities. So this last Friday, um, we actually opened up um, some of the parks, such as the dog park, uh, the tennis courts, the skate parks, uh, as well as the BMX uh, park uh, in uh, the middle of town. The basketball courts will be opening up tomorrow, May 19th. Um, and then this Friday, May 22nd, some additional park amenities will be opening up, such as swing sets, uh, play structures, water fountains, um, and the restrooms. Uh, the parks will include signage at each of these locations that will remind people to social distance and to maintain personal hygiene in order to keep these areas clean. Uh, we will not be opening up the Ramadas um, due to their tendency to draw crowds and the grills will remain closed due to fire restrictions. We're getting the indoor facilities ready as well by adding physical dividers to the customer service counters, providing spacing prompts in lobby areas, cleaning the facilities, distributing the necessary PPE, and providing training to our employees that will be returning to their work locations soon. The majority of facilities will remain closed to the public unless they have specific appointments until we reach phase three. Um, so as I stated earlier, we'll be continuing to monitor for that 14 day decline in new cases in the Flagstaff area. Thanks, Shannon. And one, um, two points that I wanted to make uh, about the reentry plan. While the city's facilities have remained closed um, and will for, for a while in the future, the vast majority of city staff are still working um, depending on their job duties, they are either working remotely or in the cases of um, like our public safety personnel, they are obviously still serving in the community. Um, water services staff are still conducting the type of maintenance that is expected in their regular work duties. And then um, staff such as Shannon, Greg and myself are all working remotely. As you can see, we're um, doing this from our respective or doing this video from our respective locations. Um, the other point that I wanted to make sure folks were aware of, because I know we've received a number of questions about this, is that while the city can um, have this phased reentry approach to reopening our facilities, we are under the direction of the governor's executive orders as they relate to COVID-19. And as such, we do not have the ability to, um, <clears throat> excuse me, impose a different reentry program or re reopening schedule or uh, metrics or thresholds for, um, other businesses in our community or other public lands, like uh, federal public lands, that it, we are preempted from doing so. So I know we've received a few questions about that, and I wanted to make sure that folks were clear that these, the reentry plan that Shannon um, just discussed, really only applies to city facilities. Um, and so I think that that was just, I just want to make sure that folks are aware of that. Um, and Greg, did you have any points that you wanted to add about the reentry plan? Well, thank you for emphasizing uh, that the city facilities that we're talking about are 
uh, subject to uh, city operations and, and uh, oversight and, and uh, direction from our mayor. So the reopening of these in the phased uh, manner that Shannon described is certainly uh, all predicated upon our mayor's directives. And as you uh, very accurately pointed out, that's um, different from the governor's executive order speaking to the reopening of private businesses and other businesses uh, throughout the community. We are uh, just speaking here about uh, city owned facilities. Uh, the only other thing I would mention is that the phased uh, reopening is a little bit similar to how we came into this pandemic uh, when we started to close our facilities. That was also in a phased fashion. It, it, it enables us to be a little bit more um, adaptive uh, to a rapidly changing environment out there. We can't uh, predict a lot of things that lie ahead. Uh, so we are structuring this in a way to where we can respond accordingly. Uh, we will be watching carefully and uh, those decisions will be made with great care. Thank you, Greg. Um, and Shannon, I know you mentioned that the city is working to complete this plan. It is not available yet, but it will be in the near future. And um, once it is complete, it will be shared on our social media and on our website. And if folks have questions about um, COVID-19, the city response, um, items related that are um, targeted towards businesses or individuals or nonprofits for COVID-19. While, as, I've, as we mentioned, we don't own many of those resources, uh, we do have a, a comprehensive guide directing you to those resources as they are available on the city's website, um, flagstaffaz.gov backslash COVID-19. Um, and you can also, if you have questions for a future episode of the Recovery Roundtable, you can submit those to recoveryroundtable at flagstaffaz.gov. And please feel free to send in any questions. We welcome them and we're happy to discuss the topics that are at hand and that are um, at the top of your mind. So thank you so much for watching another episode and thank you for joining Greg and Shannon. Thank you, thank Jessica. You.